Hello there. Now I'm going to teach you guys how to complete the square. So if you look at the first problem, you can see that it gives us an equation and we're asked to find the equivalent, an equivalent form of the equation where the coordinates of the vertex appear as constants or coefficients. So whenever the SAT tells you this, it's really just asking you to complete the square. So we're gonna to go to menu and we'll choose algebra, complete the square. And now we're going to type in the equation. So we've got minus 19 comma x. And notice that I'm putting comma x at the very end. That means that I'm telling the calculator that I want it to complete the square with respect to x. So we're going to press enter and we get x plus two squared minus 23. That's answer choice D. So that takes care of the first one. Now let's look at the second one. We're given the equation of the circle and we're asked to find the coordinates of the center of the circle. To find those, we're going to have to put the equation in center radius form. And the best way to do that is to complete the square. So we'll go to menu, algebra, complete the square. Now notice that this time I've entered the equation and I've put comma x comma y at the end. That means I'm telling the calculator that I wanted to complete the square both with respect to x and with respect to y at the same time. So we press enter and we get x plus two squared plus y minus three squared equals 37. The two and the three are going to give us the coordinates of the center of the circle, but just remember that we want to change the sign for both of those. So we get minus two comma three, and that's answer choice D. All right, so there you have it. That's how you complete the square with a TI Inspire CX CAS. To go on to the next video, you can click on the window that's showing up at the bottom right-hand side of your screen.